I have a bone to pick with you, Autel. Your histogram is nowhere near accurate. It says we are fine on our shadows and fine on our highlights, but we're actually clipping the highlights here, even though it says we have additional headroom. Try to bring it back, no way, no how. Those whites are gone, they're not coming back. And your histogram says everything is okay, which is a dirty, dirty lie. This is a major issue. If you're new to this channel and wanna learn a little bit more about how to get the best picture possible out of your drone and maybe learn a little bit about the color correcting tools inside of Premiere. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and a notification. I'm going to be uploading a lot of these and we'd love to have you. So let's get into it. Welcome to the channel. It's Adam Grumbo here. What we're going to do is bring up our histogram so we can see how our exposure is doing. Under camera settings, there's our histogram. Slide the, uh, slide the position over to the on. And now we can see our histogram right here. Looking at the histogram, we seem to be exposed pretty well, maybe a little bit towards the dark. So we're gonna bring it up, try to get that histogram right in the middle. This peak on the right here is our highlights and then shadows on this side. Looks like we're quite a ways away from clipping either one of them. When I flip it back off over to standard mode, you can see it makes our entire image underexposed. And I think it's doing that to hide the sensor noise, but it's a very bad way to do it. So this is how I would expose for it. You can see our highlights here. Let's pause it for a second. This is uh, this little peak here is supposed to be our sky. And we, uh, we still have some room here before we overexpose it. That's great. Although it's not entirely accurate, you can see that we're overexposed here. We're real close right there and then switching back over to log mode. Um, doesn't look like anything's clipping. Our sky detail here is still looking good and we should have plenty of shadow detail. This is how I would prefer to expose for it in log mode. Let's see what Premiere has to say about our exposure levels. If we bring down the highlights a little bit, maybe we can retain some of that. Uh, let's try bringing down the whole thing. Yeah. So we're not clipping it anyways, even though it's clipping here. So that's good. Our highlights are fine. Shadows are fine. We're gonna turn that off by just deleting it real quick. So our histogram says we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. Let's see what we're doing. And if I was gonna put a lot on there, then we're a little overexposed, just like I was talking about. But easy to bring that back down into the happy range. And this stuff over here is, it's a cell phone screen, so don't worry about that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to put a little more contrast on there. And then if I was doing it, I'd probably bring these shadows back down. Just give it a more natural look. But we're not going to worry about it right now. That's just showing that we got a good exposure. Let's see what else we can find out. Now, if we're going to adjust our highlights and bring those back down just a hair, protect our shadows a little more, get that right in the middle. If we get that right in the middle, we'll have uh, properly exposed here. Let's go back and look at our lumetry again. And turn off our cell phone. Yes, that's a perfectly exposed image. So if we're right in the middle of the histogram on the screen, then we are happy campers. Let's see what else we can find out. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over into 4K mode. We'll put it on 30 frames a second so our bitrate is the same. And immediately there is quite a significant drop in clarity compared to the 8K. I don't know if it comes through through YouTube, but I can certainly see it at home. The resolution has dropped and it seems that there is some kind of weird, almost looks like posterization. The image looks weird. Like back here, uh, it looks like there's some kind of upscaling or some strange thing going on. I don't like the way it looks. Yeah, shooting in 4K is just, it's not pretty on the Evo. Um, I uh, prefer to shoot in 8K even if I have to downscale. I know that it means we're losing some frame rate abilities, but I don't like what it's doing here. Still exposed nicely in the middle. Just testing to see what it looks like when we bring the sharpness down. Negative two. I think the image looks better. Negative three. So it looks a little strange back here. I don't like that. I 
Let's switch it back over to none color profile and see how we're doing. Again, it shifts our whole exposure over to the left. Again, I think it's doing this to save us from the shadows. Well, I don't like that kind of a shift. So we're gonna raise our exposure to try to get that histogram in the middle. And here's where things start to get funky. You can see here, this is supposed to be our skies that we're saving. We're already massively clipped on the girl's shirts and this portion of the sky. We're also clipped here, here, and here. And our histogram says we're in the clear. So it's a liar. It's a liar when we're shooting in the nun profile. Now if we bring our exposure up a little bit more, it still says our sky is okay. A little space there on the right hand side. When clearly we are clipping here, we're also clipping in the t-shirts. All right, can we talk about this real quick? Our histogram here, our histogram right here says we're okay and not clipped. But we're definitely clipped here, here, and here. Here's where it gets really weird. If you look at our scopes, let's turn off our cell phone. Here are the scopes. And it shows our sky clipping at like 93%. And there is no sky information after that. So we're artificially clipping our sky. But when you expose it according to the histogram, the histogram, which says you are okay, but the image that it gives you is clipped here. Yeah. Those whites are clipped and they're not returning. Make them gray if you want. So just trying to get those whites back. They're stuck. They're not going to get there. Pull it all the way down. We're still getting clipping here and here. It's gray, so it's not showing us clipped. But it's clipped. I want you want to see see if you switch over to log mode then it gives you the truth everything is overexposed that's clipped but you know what they're doing here is they're actually making this kind of gray to fool this into thinking that's not clipped because that's not 100 percent white we made a color mat and Let's pull it out there and put it here and see what we can discover. You see, there's the difference between clipped white and all they're doing is adding gray to it to make you think that it's not clipped when it certainly is. And a good way to see that is switching back over into log mode. There's log mode. See the whites? They match now. Imagine that. Um, and if you look at our scopes, totally clipped, way overexposed. We're going to have to bring that exposure down. Again, that's our cell phone screen. So that's a, this right there is a properly exposed image with it right in the middle. This is also right in the middle. That's beautiful. So our histogram on here is lying because of some weird contrast reduction, even in the standard picture profile mode to make you think that you're not clipping when you really are clipping. Like I said before, this is definitely the reason why you should shoot in log all of the time. If we threw the, uh, the LUT that I have on there, it should be in the description below again. And our image is looking good. Let me turn off that cell phone. Uh, a little hot in our blues, maybe. Probably take that down a pinch. Uh, and I would also take the shadows down. Just give it a little more, a little more contrast. A little, a little orange here because of the sunset. Push that to the left, and maybe a little less green. There, look, our sky is beautiful. Let's compare our log to whatever they're trying to give us in the standard profile. 
I mean, look at the sky. Look at the t-shirts. Let's bigify that. So this is what they're trying to feed you. Let me turn off that proxy. So what they're trying to feed you with the standard profile. And then this is what you can get out of log. So certainly do take some efforts and color it yourself because the built-in tools are broken. And also I want you to use the histogram here. Look, see, it says we're exposed okay here. It says we're exposed okay here. And we're clearly not exposed okay here. We are here. And it is the uh, the highlights. And it's the edges, really. The highlights and the shadows that it's lying. They say they're safe when they're not safe. And this is a uh, an Autel thing. You can get an amazing image out of this thing. You just have to know a couple of tricks. It's kind of like Premiere. It's an amazing editing program. You just have to know how to work around a couple of the kinks. But uh, thank you guys for watching again. I hope you're really learning how to get the most out of your Autel drone. And, uh, and of course, I'm just trying to share what I know about these drones. So if you are gaining anything from this, please do hit subscribe and notification. If you know anybody else who is flying a drone and you think might benefit from watching a couple of these videos, please share with them. I hope to talk to you guys soon and be safe out there and keep creating. Stay wild.